This equation, this one here that we started off the day with, I gave it to you, and then I asked some questions of you. What we did was we said, okay, if we can get into this form down here, which we call what again? You can call it y equals mx plus b, because it's mx plus b. You can call it slope intercept form, because that's the slope, that's the intercept. You can also call it gradient intercept form, because gradient's just another name for slope. So we saw that going in that direction was useful. It gives you these uh, features about the line. You don't even have to graph it. You can just look at the numbers. Okay? However, on occasion, you will be given a line in this form, and actually you've got to go in reverse. Now, here's what's weird. It's not immediately obvious why this form up the top is useful. You actually have to do a bit of work to get there. However, because eventually you will, they give this guy its own name. They call it general, general form. Okay. Now, 5x minus 2y plus 10 equals 0 is exactly written in general form. I want to tell you the three characteristics that make it general. Firstly, the right hand side, do you see what it's equal to? It's equal to 0. That's the first important thing. Excuse me. The right hand side equals 0. That's the first important thing. Just like in this form, the left hand side equals y. So look for that. That's your first signal. Secondly, big fancy word. You've heard it before, but let me reintroduce it. Coefficients. Coefficients means these numbers here that are attached to the pronumerals, and this guy here as well. Okay? These guys, do you notice, they're all whole numbers, right? No fractions unlike this mx plus b form. Okay? So up here I'm looking for these whole numbers. It's okay if they're negative. See how I've got a minus 2 in there? So what do we call those numbers? Whole numbers, integers. negatives are okay. Yeah. We call them integers. So the coefficients are all integers. If you get given something like this and you rearrange stuff so the right hand side equals 0, you're not quite a general form yet unless everything is whole numbers, plus or minus are okay. There's one last important feature. Uh, up above here, you might want to rewrite, essentially you've got x's, and you've got y's, and then you've got an extra number floating around. Okay? In other words, every single line has this format. This is what makes general form general form. Right hand side 0, a, b, and c, they're all whole numbers. And you've got your x's, then your y's, and then the constant term, the number. Okay. If you call these, if you name them a, b, and c, what you want is a to be positive. Strictly speaking, it doesn't have to be, but it kind of makes everything nicer and neater. It also means if you meet all these conditions, then if you go to general form and your friend next to you also goes to general form, you will have things that look exactly identical. As opposed to, for instance, you don't need to write this. I could rewrite this equation meaning the first two conditions but not the third. I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1. Watch what happens. Negative 5x plus 2y. What comes next? Minus 10, Minus 10 <laughs> equals 0. The right hand side is still 0. Everything is in integers. That's okay. But your general form and my general form might look different. That's a bit weird. We want some consistency amongst. That helps us communicate more clearly. So therefore, we add on this last condition. If you meet all three of those, if I give all of you a line, which I'm about to do right now, we'll all end up on exactly the same general form. So here's an example. I'm going to give you a line. We're going to convert it. So I'm going to give you one like this. <coughs> Just make that one. Okay. Actually, we're going to put a two over there. Okay. So, what do I want? I want the right hand side to be zero. So, that's the first thing I'm going to start to work out. There's stuff on the right hand side. I want to get all of it over on the left. So, what shall I do? I should subtract all of this stuff from both sides. So you can see, I'm going to get, uh, let's see here, 2y minus this, minus this, equals 0. 
So I'm looking at my little dot point list here. The right hand side equals zero. Check. But I'm not meeting the second one. Coefficients are all integers. Which one's the odd one out? Yeah, that guy there. Not an integer. So what do I do to this to change it? If I want it to be an integer, and right now it isn't, to get rid of a fraction, I will multiply through by something. The denominator is 7, so I'll multiply everything by 7. 2y is going to become? 14, 14y. Uh, I'll get to the negative in a second. I'm going sort of one step at a time. Uh, the minus 4 over 7x will become? Minus 4x. What about this minus 1? And I know this doesn't change the value, but I just personally like to write 7 times 0 over there on the right-hand side. Uh, it doesn't change the value. It's still going to be 0. But a lot of people, like when it's not 0, forget that the right-hand side is there. They're like, I just multiplied the stuff on the left. And I just forgot there were other things. This helps me remember I've multiplied every single object, no exceptions, by the number I chose. Okay. So, have a look. The right-hand side, still 0. Integers? Looks good. A. Which number is A in this case? Hmm. Now I'm going to come back over here. I haven't got the order right, have I? The A is the number attached to X. At the moment, that's not just 4, it's minus 4. Do you see that? And I don't really want that. So now, I'm going to multiply everything through, not just by 7, but negative 1. Okay, so watch this. This is going to become negative, this is going to become positive, this is also positive. This guy's zero, so he's still zero. Okay. Now I'll just put him in the right order. Uh, x is first alphabetical, yeah? 4x minus 14y plus 7. And we all have the same general form. Should all be identical. So we've got consistency among us. So if we were comparing lines, you could actually start off with something different and end up at the same general form, which is really nice. So we know we've got the right answer. Okay. 